Hello, this is Satbir. The topic of our discussion in this video tutorial is uh, derivatives. I will begin this video tutorial from the definition of uh, differentiability. So what is a differentiability? So let f is a function which is a defined from a set A to the set of uh, uh, real number d a function uh, and it's a defined on defined on an interval interval a so here we consider a as an interval but we can define this definition on more general set for example a can be open set close or a compact set the the derivative the derivative uh, of f at x is equal to a is uh, defined by uh, this limit so f prime of a is equal to the limit as x approaches to a of the quotient f of a of fx minus f of a whole thing is a divide by x minus a if this limit exists we say the function is a differentiable at x is equal to a and the definition of this limit is defined in one of our previous video. We can also make the substitution and rewrite this limit as h approaches to 0 f a plus h minus f of a whole thing is divided by h. And in this case our substitution will be x is equal to a plus h and if these limit exist we say we say f is differentiable f is a differentiable at x is equal to a if f is a differentiable at every point of the set then we say f is differentiable on the set Next, I will give you an example of a function which is a differentiable and also give you an example of a function which is not a differentiable function. So let's first consider an example of a differentiable function. So my example is, in this case, I am going to consider f of x is equal to x to the power n, where n belong to the set of natural number. and I'm going to consider the element a belong to the set of real and my goal is to prove f of x is a differentiable at x is equal to a or in other words I want to show the limit x approaches to a of f of x minus f of a whole thing is a divide by x minus a exist this limit is equal to limit x approaches to a x to the power n minus a to the power n x minus a now using the binomial theorem i can factor the top and after factoring the top i will get limit as x approaches to a the top will be x minus a times x to the power n minus 1 plus a time x to the power n minus 2 a square time x to the power n minus 3 and so on a to the power n minus 1 and whole entire thing is divided by x minus a in the next step we will cancel out x minus a because they are present in the denominator and also in the denominator so after cancelling out the term x minus a i will substitute the value of the limit x is equal to a and i will get a to the power n minus 1 plus a to the power n minus 1 because a time a to the power n minus 2 is a to the power n minus 1 and so on a to the power n minus 1 so all the term will become a to the power n minus 1 there are n number of terms so i will get n time a to the power n minus 1 and this is a real number therefore my limit exists and the limit is equal to 
n time a to the power n minus 1. So in conclusion, I will say that the derivative of this function exists at a and in fact this is equal to n time a to the power n minus 1. Since a is an arbitrary number which I chosen from the set of real and this implies the function f of x is differentiable. This function is differentiable at every real number or in whether this function is differentiable on r the set of real number now let me give you one more example of a function which is not differentiable so my next example is this time my function f of x is equal to absolute value of x and i will check the differentiability of this function at a is equal to zero and if this function is differentiable, this limit must exist as x approaches to 0 of f of x minus f of 0 whole thing is divided by x minus a or just x. So if I substitute these value into my function, I will get limit as x approaches to 0 of the absolute value of x the absolute value of 0 is 0 and this is divided by x and this limit is 1 if x is approaching to 0 from the positive side and this limit is a negative 1 if x is approaches to 0 from the negative side so since this limit does not exist so this means this function is not differentiable at a is equal to 0 so this implies f of x is not differentiable at a is equal to 0. Next I will use the definition of the differentiability and uh, prove this important result. This result states that if a function is differentiable at a point then the function must be also continuous at that point. As you can see that the converse of this theorem is not true um, because in the previous example I showed you a continuous function which was not a differentiable function. So now let's prove this theorem. First I will write down what is given and what I want to show. Given f is differentiable at a what we want to show we want to show f is continuous at a or that is limit as x approaches to a f of x is equal to f of a so we want to prove the limit of the function approach to the value of the function at a so i will begin by writing f of x minus f of a as f of x minus f of a whole thing is it divided by x minus a time x minus a now i will take the limit on both side as x approaches to a and i will use the algebraic limit of property on the uh, right hand side and notice that both the limit exist this limit exist because it is given so this is a given that this limit exist and x minus a is a um, polynomial function so it is a limit also exist as x approaches to a so by using the algebraic limit theorem i have limit as x approaches to a of uh, this quotient f x minus f of a whole thing is divided by x minus a times limit as x approaches to a x minus a notice this is only possible because this limit exists if this limit does not exist we cannot use the algebraic limit theorem and since we know this limit exists and this limit is equal to f prime of a however this limit also exists and this limit is zero so this implies uh, a real number multiplied to 0 the whole entire thing is equal to 0 now in conclusion we have a uh, limit as x approaches to a sorry there was a 
um, f of x minus f of a this is equal to this is exist and this is equal to 0 and this implies limit x approaches to a f of x is equal to f of a and this is the definition of a continuous function this implies f of x is is continuous uh, at x is equal to a so this complete the proof of our theorem next i have one quiz problem for you to practice please pause the video for one and two minute and work on this problem this is also the end of this video tutorial thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video bye for now